欢迎回到中国文化学院，我们一起学习中国文字、语言、文化和历史。Welcome back to Mr. Ho's Chinese class. We're learning Chinese characters, language, culture together. Today is lesson five. Still, a doubling or vocabulary. Five elements of 五行金之二，五行 number section number two. 是今天是呃第五课的。自知起飞的金五行金的第二节，金人的银来 related to 金人银。Today, because 金 is already related to metal, but as the the number one related 啊词 or expression, number two is related to money. So that's how we're gonna make it more for you guys. Um. Review more for you guys, okay? Hope you make money, more money. 钱，钱。Because in ancient time, in the very and very ancient time, the money, no matter in east or west, they use the shell, seashell. It's pronounced as b. We explained that before. Later on, they changed to use the copper. Copper means tone. To make this kind of, uh, and you have a Chinese character, Chinese character, Chinese character. You you all know this kind of thing. That's is ancient China. In, in the West, you have a golden coin, a silver coin, right? But、uh, in China, there's not too much golden. Mine in China, so the Chinese we use copper coin. That's called a chain because it's very thin. So here, a character related to this one would be chain. Same pronunciation. The water very shallow. Chain. This part provide as a 形容词 provide a pronunciation also give the meaning of very shallow water very shallow 浅 but if it's not too much value it's pronounced as 浅 coming from here pronunciation. Not worthy, cheap. So because it is a chain, is very thin. The、uh, the unit, the worth is not that much for one of this silver coin. So it's very cheap money, very small amount of money. It's called that's called a chain. Okay, but together, jin chain means money, meaning means wealth. And later on, we have the currency, pronounced as chao, just like the sha. That's sand. The pronunciation coming from the sha or shao. That that's another um, 形容词钞钞票 here 钞票 currency. Why this paper? Has a jin on the left because at the very beginning, the currency is evaluated by the gold. But since nineteen, I think nineteen seventy one, U.S. dissociate the gold with the currency, dollar. Even though in Chinese we still use this to describe currency. But it, there's no gold there already. It's just paper. Yeah, just for common sense for you. Okay, as originally it's linked to the gold. Whatever currency, the U.S. dollar,、um, or, or any currency, is related to gold since 1971. Not 97. I'm sorry. Since 1971, I am、uh, President Nixon, under、uh, President Nixon, Nixon's period. U.S. dissociate the gold from 
currency. So right now, whatever you're in currency today is just paper. It's printed paper. It's no longer linked to gold. Right? Mei Chao means US dollar. That's Mei Guo the Mei, right? Chao Chao your currency. Mei Chao or Mei Jin, you can say that's US dollar too. It's very used. Alright? Very commonly used. Or Chao Piao. Piao means a piece of paper. Could be a ticket, but Chao Piao means the ticket you can buy something. Or Qian Piao, same thing. Qian. So it pronounces qian, money, qian piao, or piaozi. In general, when you're talking about, in Chinese, talking about piaozi, usually it's talking about money. But sometimes, uh, under, uh, under a very specific situation, also can be used to represent piaozi, represent ticket. Like you go to a theater to watch a movie, to watch a show, that also for piaozi, but that piao, that piaozi, that ticket, you have to buy, buy this. So that's how any piaozi has a words behind it, okay? It's because it originally from chao piao. Any piaozi, any ticket, you gotta buy for, you gotta buy for it. So behind, there's some money in there, that's chao piao, qian. Okay, piaozi. <clears throat> so this is a one set of a character. Another set is um, the tools. Tools, okay. Gold. This is uh, on the right. It's called the Ju sentence, right? It's basically so like a hook, or together, or bent. But there's something bent, you, you uh, made from a metal. Now it's not gold, it's metal. It's a hook. Usually it's talking about the uh, metal hook. But nowadays we have a lot of plastic hook. So it's to use the same character to describe any kind of hook. You go fishing, that kind of hook, that's a metal, right? Uh, whatever you hang in your clothing, in, uh, you can use a lot of a pra uh, plastic, but we still use this same character to describe that hook. Or go or goes, piao or piao, so you can add it to a lot of a uh, character to make it, right? Desk, zhuo, zhuo zi. chair, yi, yi zi. Uh -huh. glass, yan jing, yan jing zi. All right? Beads, beads. Okay. How? Another another tool. Cow. This is pronounced as a cow. This character is almost equal to this character. We learned this before. We don't really learn. We learned this. That's called a lao. Means old. This is also means old too. But in ancient Chinese, this means old male, this usually mean, means old female. They are both old, symbolizing the age. So, cow, but in this here, this cow provide a deep pronunciation and of this xing sheng zi, cow is cuff. Cuff, okay. It's often, often used if you watch movie, or read some regular story. It's it's very common used to characters. Or also cow. Cow is common cow but but third tone, but here is so cow. So cow. The same thing. Cow, so cow. Okay. Lock it up. Or coffin. Cow chi lai. Chi lai. Right. So the chow as shovel. Because this is another Remember, uh, Xin Sheng uh, consists 85 to 90 percent of all Chinese cattle we're using today. Even the most common used, 3,000. Okay. The pronunciation coming from the right part. Chiu, Chiu means what? Autumn. We just uh, passed a very important uh, Chinese festival 
a couple of days ago. That's a middle autumn festival, Zhong Qiuji. If you like Chinese culture, maybe you have some uh, mooncake already, right? Zhong Qiuji. We learned this Jie before, so Jie Ri. Zhong Qiuji. This Chiu provides pronunciation from the but it pronounced as Chao Shavo. And you use uh, iron chow as tie chow. Nowadays we, we use plastic chow, right, to shovel snow in the winter. Another material made by metal is ding zi nail. Ding or ding zi. You can use ding or ding zi. But you don't say chow. This is just a, uh, uh, it's, it's in the oral, oral Chinese daily. There's some kind of uh, um, regulation, but not for sure. So you, you can say things goes. You don't say cows, chows. No, you don't say that. When you, you read more, learn more, you, you, you know how to say it. Okay. This character pronounced as shu because it's coming from the right side. That's shu. We explained this character before. You're blooming the flower, you start to making. After the flower blooming, you have a seed create inside. And that kind of state is called a shoe. Right? Oh. Or if you used it to, this is what you should use it to describe the flower. If you used to describe human or, or mammalian animal, that's, that's pregnant. That's the original uh, meaning of this character, pronounced shu. But here, this also just provides as the pronunciation. It means rust. So somehow the meaning is dis dissociated with the original shu. But this, this, this gives the pronunciation to this character. The hammer tree, we learn this character. Uh, yeah, we will learn, also learn this character. Tree on the right side. Or far away. Because it's related to this this character. Sit. Right? And you learn over here. It's related. Not exactly, but it evolved from here. But you, 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 if you add uh, this uh, another puzzle on left. That's another character of pronouncing shui. Sleep. Right? Okay? Shui, pronunciation from here. They're both xin shen zi shui, hammer. So, gradually you're going to develop the habit or ability to analyze character, all the characters. Something made by metal, the pronunciation could have come from here. Chui, Xiu, Ding, that's Ding, but the origin of this Ding means a man and a family in ancient time. Ding, now still. Or um, how many people in your family have Ding, Ren Ding. There's a, if there's a community, there's a lot of people. The population grows. It's called Ren Ding Xing Wang. We learned this Xing before also. Xing means everybody. There's so, so many hands. So many hands. And this lower part actually is originally written like this. Then it evolved to be like this. On the part. Together to do something. Xing Wang. Publishing grow pick up very fast. Called That's the but provide this provide the pronunciation for this ding ding now ding or ding. Feng. I haven't learned this before. You wanna you wanna remember this? <clears throat> That's edge of the knife or the sharp kind of shape of a mountain. 
if I have a monkey like this, this is called San Feng. San Feng. Feng, or the edge of a circuit. Um, double edge swan, that's a double edge. Very sharp. Jin Feng, <coughs> edge. Hope I don't say too fast, right? I'm writing some new uh, old character to for you to review. Ching. Also, so you see. Here, 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 uh, here, 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 and now here and all here. And so all Xin Sheng Zi. For those newcomer, you want to go to the original, the old videos. I write it for you. Xin Sheng Zi. Basically, a one character, Chinese character, is two part, too radical. You you can think, understand that way. One part mainly provide the meaning, a, a form. A shape of that character um, indicated. Another part more mainly contribute to the pronunciation, but mainly in most cases, many cases, not most. I would say over fifty percent. The part pro who, which provide or contribute to the pronunciation also contribute to the meaning. Like, like this tree. It's hammer. It has a head, right? When you use it, you have to go down. You cannot hammer this. You can hammer this, right? Like this thing, like there's a chair, provides a pronunciation also. It means shallow, very small amount of money called a chair. All right? Okay. Jin, that's a mirror. This part provides pronunciation. Uh, very typical Xin Sheng Zi. And this give you this. Yeah, but why the mirror has the metal? I give you two seconds to think why. Mirror, why mirror has metal? Uh, because there's a frame, metal, uh, the metal frame now. Because it's a very ancient time. The mirror made from copper. Right? Hundred percent copper, so that's how this this provide the pronunciation Qing mirror, or you can say Qing Zi, right? You can say Cui Cui Zi. You, you don't say Xiu Zi, <laughs> you say Ding Zi. You say Go Zi. You say Piao Zi. You don't say Qian Zi. You you don't say Cao Zi. Cao Wei Cao Cao Piao. Uh, when you learn more, when you read more, when you get into the uh, read more ch in, in original Chinese, you will get a feeling. Okay, some a lot of things you, you, there's no to, uh, um, rational explanation. It just people just say that way. Now, graduate, yeah, they develop that, develop that way. All right, that's Xin Sheng Zi, that's Chen. Here, without opinion, you want to go here to review all this. Or I just uh, uh, explain to you. So another character I think uh, which which I missed here is Cuo. Miss mistake. Why mistake has a metal? That's very interesting, right? Uh, it could be my something made by wood. Or, or or to earth. Jin mu sui huo. To at least other things. Why metal? It's a kind of borrow, like a qi, borrow the character, and you just never turn, never return. Originally, mistake. Ah, uh, let me go, let me go this way. When we walk, we're talking about moving, traveling. When we walk from north to south, or south to north. Talking about trafficking, this. Well, there's one way to describe it. It's called a tong. Tong. 
when do, when when we do traveling, but east to west or west to east, this is a west. This is east. Dongxi. This is Bei. This is Nan. Remember, remember you're not California. That's called a Tong. That is called Jiao. That's called a Jiao. Written like this, origin of uh, the pronunciation coming from this gel. Cross your two feet. Miss cross. Miss overlapping. Remember now? Okay, so that's how we're talking about the trafficking in Chinese. Traffic is called jiao tone. That's another character. Jiao tone. Or transportation. Jiao tong. I just give you another. We'll learn both character, but put together it's called transportation or trafficking. All right. Dong Xi means jiao, and Nan Bei means tong. So when you go, what about a different direction? Because most of when you when you when you when you when you're traveling, you have transportation. Not always. Dong Xi or Nan Bei. It could be this, could be this, could be this. this usually it is not Dong Xi or Nan Bei, different directions. That is called a Cho. It's written like this. Anything with this Zhao Zhi. Anything with this Zhao Zhi means walking or transportation, moving. But somehow, Sometime in history, people borrow this tool to describe this tool. Means this is an authentic way, very sturdy, very upright. You know, this is messed up. This way, this way, this way. They are not either uh, standardized. Dong Xi or Nan Bei. That call is messed up. It's not in the right direction, yeah, because you want to definitely have a, a clear mind where is north and where is south and where is east and where is the west, and then you know where to go. If you mess up, you made a mistake. That's basic meaning. Originally, it's described the direction, but extended to say you are not on the right track. You are not in the right direction. You don't have direction at all. But somehow people use this. Original this one uh, with with metal is to use metal, actually the, the golden um, powder to paint something, paint on something. That's the original. That's the original uh, meaning of this character, to paint on some something uh, on the surface of something. For example, um, a Buddha's statue, or you do a painting. When you do the brush, usually you don't. Directly just go to this, east to west, horizontally, perfectly, or vertical, uh, vertic uh, perfectly. You do all direction to make sure it's even. So that's the meaning of this whole. It's borrowed to describe all the messed up thing. Now, then this one disappeared somehow. And when people borrow this to describe this messed up or mistake and never return. That's how. Okay? Uh, now you remember now? Okay, tour. So both, then I'm going to review another, another tour for you. This is uh, your walk. Not really horizontal, pure, per perfectly, or perfectly vertical. That's the tour, right? And that's the tour. You paint originally, but now it replaces this one. There's another tour. Means method or strategy or whatever you take action to do things. That's called the Cuo Shi. There's a new character for your Shi, but you can remember this Cuo together. You want to do something, you want to go back and forth all, all direction to make it happen. That's the Cuo. That's because you use a hand, you do things. All right? Okay. 
I think that's all for today's uh, extended reading. If it is not too much for you guys, because the last period, last week, we spent, we extended maybe a little bit too much for you guys. You want to review this one and that one to do all your combination. Use your dictionary. Now, I really encourage you guys to use dictionary to, to check up on different combination of the character, whatever you learned. Focus, mainly focus on whatever you learned, then extend it. Then you start to notice some different combination. You, you start to pick up some new character by yourself. But stay with us for the time being. All right? I think that's for the, this section. All right. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you very much and see you next week. 好，今天就到这儿，谢谢大家。